For over three decades, WWE superstars have come to this event with one thing in mind, survive. Welcome everyone to Survivor Series. For one night only, fantasy warfare becomes real. And now it's time for a Survivor Series match. It's going to be tough to top. Singles match on tap next. Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Taking on some tough competition. Let's do it. And before we go any further, I'd like to extend a very Merry Christmas to our WWE Universe watching at home. Oh, I echo those sentiments, Michael. And I hope that Santa was good to everybody out there. Even you, Corey. I hope he brings you coal, Byron. start the night off than with this one. I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. There's a lot of pride on the line between these two athletes tonight. Two of the proudest athletes we have ever seen in WWE. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match oh. you'll want to watch over and over again. Flex. 
If you ask me, guys, this match alone is worth the price of this month's WWE Network subscription. Of course, there's other great matches on this pay-per-view card, but for my money, it doesn't get any better than this. Here we go. Oh, man. I think a lot of people share Corey's earlier sentiment. This match is undoubtedly one of the highlights of this pay-per-view, which Byron is stacked with a series of amazing matches. Yeah, we get to sit here and call all of them? Sometimes I have to pinch myself. I still can't believe how lucky we are. If this match heads outside, things can go south real quick. Let's hope not. Missile drop kick finds its mark. He goes for the cover. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Gonna take more than that. This might be it! Oh, my! Beautiful technique. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, what impact! There's been a lot of great moments on pay-per-view over the years. And for me, one of my favorites was watching Kurt Angle's debut match at the 1999 Survivor Series. All my buddies and I gathered around the TV cheering on our hometown boy, Kurt Angle. Oh boy, he is rolling. Drop kick! Back to Kurt Angle's WWE debut. We should note that he defeated Sean Stasiak that night using his patented angle slam. And from there, the rest is history. Speaking of history, longtime WWE fans may remember Sean Stasiak's father, Stan Stasiak, who's famous for defeating Pedro Morales for the WWE Championship in December of 1973. Stasiak went on to hold the title for only nine days, though it's nine more days than most competitors will ever hold. No surprise that the sold-out signs went up early on this one, guys. Anytime a WWE pay-per-view rolls into town, you can bet it will be the hottest ticket around. I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. Going for the big one. What a flip! It, is that it? Is it over? Corey mentioned earlier that the sold-out signs went up fairly quickly for this one. Or as WWE Hall of Famer Gorilla Monsoon might have said, the SRO signs went out early for this one. Oh, man. I don't know if there was an announce pairing more entertaining than Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan. True legends. you got to believe this one's over. Bleak for him now. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. This is all but over. I can't really tell what his game plan was heading into this match, but whatever it was, it definitely hasn't been working. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. Let's call it like it is, guys. It doesn't get much bigger than this. A featured match on a major WWE pay-per-view. This is huge for these superstars. Toss to the outside. What? Look at that at a second time. Oh, that has got to be it. Corey noted earlier just how big this is for these superstars. This is why they choose to get into this business. This is why they spend those countless hours training a match on a big stage. And you can bet all the WWE hopefuls training in the Performance Center are watching this pay-per-view tonight, hoping it'll be them competing on a WWE pay-per-view in the very near future. He's looking at it. Nailed it. Harsh impact. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Three. This singles contest has a victor. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup.
This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here is your winner, Simon Dean. Big win here to start the show. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. The championship is up for grabs. Coming up next, we have one of our breakout talents taking on some tough competition. High stakes. Don't miss it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. Sounds to me, guys, like this crowd is ready to get this night started. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another.
Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Chris Ben Noah. Introducing the champion from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Becca R. T. Put down that remote, stay a while. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Set him up! Suplex. Nice. Oh, what impact. Wicked clothesline. Boom. <laughs> the champion into the cover. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. It's going to take more than that. There it comes. Rude awakening! Challenger's starting to falter. Oh, man. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Leapfrog. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. the impact. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Beautiful technique. Sharp knee. Oh, close line. The champ's on the defensive now. He comes into this championship match with a full tank of gas and ready for a fight. Yep. Yeah. Submission time. Is he done? And he somehow fights his way free. Lucky for him, that looked devastating. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. Leg Lariat with the arm wrench. Very nice. The challenger not looking good right now. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. The champ to the top turnbuckle. That's oh, what no. they call me, the hot shot. Oh, you cannot take your eyes off him for a second. Really? 
Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one heck of a match up to this point, and I think it's only going to get better. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's not going to like this. He better stay right where he is. He doesn't look too eager to get up. And I don't... Ooh! Earth-shattering spine buster. I'm not sure how much he has left. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Remember this? Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. This was one of those matches that had flashes of brilliance, but never quite lived up to all the hype. Good match overall. Here is your winner, and still, United States Champion, Becca R.T. And that's a win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Up next will be teams battling in a showdown for the ages. This is going to be huge. In a match of epic proportions. It's a tornado tag team match! to the ring at a combined weight of 530 pounds the world tag team champions trevor murray and grant case guys i realize the title is not on the line here but i don't think the champ can afford to give less than a full effort well then i've got some good news for you cole because there's a better chance of Saxton scoring a date for Friday night than there is with the champ giving less than 100%. Dan Rip. 
Corey, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxton would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Suplex. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. But what a stop. Good grief. Right to the spine. Ooh, what impact. <laughs> belly to belly suplex. Harsh impact. He's on the defensive here. The Tornado Tag Team atmosphere appears to be getting the best of him here. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional approach tonight, which includes spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That might help him in the long run. We'll see. Ooh-wee! What a clothesline! Ouch! Guys, there's something special about competing on a... WWE pay-per-view event. Sure, having a match on Raw or SmackDown is absolutely amazing, but there's nothing quite like the bright lights of a WWE pay-per-view. Oh, what an uppercut! I'd agree with your earlier point, Michael. There's nothing like the bright lights of a WWE pay-per-view. But there's also nothing like the pressure of competing on a WWE pay-per-view. A loss here could set you back quite a bit. Yeah, but a win? Now that could be career changing. Think about it. Picking up a win while the entire WWE Universe is watching on the WWE Network, it doesn't get much better than that. Belly to belly! Vicious. Oh, what a slam. At the risk of sounding like a fanboy, guys, I couldn't be more excited about this pay-per-view. I mean, from top to bottom, we have one exciting match after another. Ooh-wee! Escapes trouble there. Oh, so ruthless! Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. You're absolutely right, Byron. This is without a doubt one of the most stacked pay-per-view cards we've had in recent memory. I'd say it's reminiscent of No Mercy in 2007, which featured big-time matches. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. And it's reversed. Going big, boom. Just when you thought he had nothing. He needs to capitalize on it now. Here it comes. He's got him. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what's this gonna be? Uh oh! Oh, buckle bomb! The and table it. And yes, takes it. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. He ain't messing around. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is gonna be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. Here are your winners, The Animal and John Hein Dan Rip. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.
Next up, we'll see both combatants tested like never before. Make no mistake about it, it's gut check time. The Cerebral Assassin has arrived! This is Triple pounds. H's world. Triple the spotlight is Eddie. his home. A Grand Slam champion. One of the all-time greats. A former European champion, former Intercontinental champion, tag team champion, and WWE champion. Triple H is right where he belongs in the spotlight with the eyes of the WWE Universe fixated squarely on his chiseled physique. Broke into the main event scene with the likes of The Rock, Mick Foley, Big Show, all at WrestleMania 2000. And has never looked back since. Did you ever think you'd see the day that Ric Flair was in WWE? It is a surreal event. And it's happening right before our very eyes. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, the Nature Boy. Rick Flair! I can't believe what it must be like to, to live the lifestyle of Ric Flair. We can only imagine that's as good as it's going to get. Spreading only like the nature boy can.
Triple H is taking off the suit and tie, stepping into the ring tonight to show why he's still the game. Kick to the... Sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. You better stay right where he is. Years later, I still get goosebumps when I watch a WWE pay-per-view. It takes me back to when I was a kid. My friends would come over to watch WrestleMania or SummerSlam. This might be it! Oh, my! Momentum not on the Nature Boy side. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. Looking around this arena tonight, there appear to be plenty of youngsters in attendance who will undoubtedly look back at this night with great fondness, much like Byron did when he watched WWE pay-per-views in his youth. Don't sleep on the true headline of Saxon's little antidote there, Cole. He actually said he had friends come over to his house. I think we need to fact-check that one, because I'm not buying it. This really has been an amazing pay-per-view up to this point, which really shouldn't surprise anybody, especially given how stacked the card is. Triple H doing a great job of turning that around. Uh -oh. Boom! <laughs> The excitement level is incredibly high, as Corey was saying, and it's been that way since well before the doors even opened. Earlier this afternoon, WWE.com cameras caught the scene as thousands of fans were outside the arena just waiting to get inside. That really was a great video, Michael. It was like a mass of humanity just waiting for the doors to open so they can spill into their seats. I gotta say, those guys at WWE.com do a great job. They don't miss a thing. Watching this match, I can't help but think how much pay-per-views have grown over the years. I mean, remember the ones back in the 1980s, which were great, don't get me wrong, but now they've really grown into such a major spectacle. Here he goes. The spine buster. The Nature Boy is in a tough spot here. What you were saying before, Byron, was spot on. WWE pay-per-views today really take over the entire city, and people travel from all over the world just to say they were a part of a WWE pay-per-view. Yeah, I actually met fans from three different countries during breakfast earlier today. All of them were here in town specifically for this WWE pay-per-view. Oh, what impact! He caught that with his face. Now Ric Flair is leaking. I'd like to take a moment right now to wish everybody watching a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for spending part of your holiday with us. The spotlight's definitely on these superstars here tonight. Anytime you have the opportunity to compete on a pay-per-view, you can bet the whole WWE Universe will be watching. The end is near for him. Great match so far, guys, which should come as no surprise. Superstars always seem to elevate their games when it comes to pay-per-view. As Michael was saying earlier, the entire WWE Universe is undoubtedly watching this match. And while I've never competed on a WWE pay-per-view, I would have to think that it's pretty nerve-wracking. 
Just the fact that they let you commentate on a WWE pay-per-view is enough, Saxton. I can't imagine actually having to see you compete in the ring. I gotta say, I don't remember the last time I heard a more passionate crowd than the one we have here tonight. They are clearly fired up to have this pay-per-view and their arena. Here it is! He's making a statement here with this attack. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is! Did you hear that crack? In addition to this crowd being incredibly passionate here tonight, so are our fans watching at home. In fact, it's because of them I've learned that this match is currently the number one trend worldwide on social media. That's pretty amazing, Cole. It just goes to show that WWE truly is a global phenomenon. Oh, my goodness! No reason for that. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Here we are, guys, more than three decades after the WWE helped revolutionize pay-per-view television, and we're still going strong. Only now, unlike back then, the best way to catch a WWE pay-per-view is on the WWE Network. If I was Triple H, I'd tone down the showboating a little bit. I'd have to agree with you, Michael. The best place to watch pay-per-views is on the WWE Network, which, as you know, also features thousands of hours of programming, including one of my personal favorites, Legends House. Hey, you know what? They should do a reality show with us. That would be great. Sitting next to you each week is more than enough, Saxton. There's not enough money on the planet Earth to get me to live in a house with you. Forget it. this pay-per-view here has to be a thrill for these fans. I can tell you that when Backlash came to Washington, D.C. in 2000, which wasn't all that far from me at the time, you couldn't get Triple H setting it up. What a spine buster by the game! Here's his moment, Michael! Not over yet. He's teetering on the edge here. Pedigree! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. And that Backlash 2000 car that Byron brought up earlier might have been the most chaotic main event we've ever seen between The Rock and Triple H. And in the end, it was The Rock defeating the game for the WWE Championship, despite Mr. McMahon stacking the deck against The Rock in a major way, including naming Shane McMahon as the special guest referee. This singles match has come to an end. Wow. Let's take another look at the incredible hardcore action. He's getting it done here. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. He really put on a great show. tonight with an impressive victory. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action.